what's up guys welcome back to my channel okay so for those of you who don't know I am a vegetarian I've been a vegetarian for a year and seven months so just a little under two years so honestly since I've become a vegetarian I've been extremely experimental in the kitchen and I think I've been doing the damn thing lately I don't know I think I've been doing the damn thing <laughs> so uh two days ago I was just on YouTube watching videos all freaking day watching people eat I don't know what's wrong with me I just like trying sorry I just like trying new recipes so I decided yesterday to randomly just film what I was eating so it started with I'm um, gonna insert the clip right here it started with me eating um oatmeal muffin cookies for breakfast I don't know I've been really obsessed with breakfast cookies lately and I've been eating a lot of oatmeal so I'm like why not turn my oatmeal into a cookie so I've used it was a three ingredient cookie at that so you guys all, you guys can all make these I used a banana mashed it up and then I added about a cup of oats or just keep adding oats until it's it absorbs all of the banana and then chocolate chips and I didn't have chocolate chips so I used Hershey Kisses use what you got man and they came out so good I ended up eating four of them for breakfast I put them inside these little muffin cups because honestly I was being extremely lazy and I just didn't want to wash my cookie sheet so judge me so I put them in these little muffin cups and I baked them for 10 minutes at 350 and they came out really good. I ended up eating four of them for breakfast and a cup of black tea. And then for lunch, I just ate leftovers, which was yellow rice, uh, kidney beans, fried plantains. What else did I? Oh, kale, broccoli. I feel like I'm lying to myself but you guys will see it in the video and I also made seitan for the first time I don't know if it's seitan seitan I just say seitan I made that for the first time and it's a vegetarian vegan meat substitute and honestly I'm not really into meat substitutes but like it's supposed to be full of protein and I just started working out recently so I'm here for the protein in my diet trying to bulk up you know so I made that for the first time it was literally okay it wasn't horrible at all it wasn't bad it was pretty good but I feel like next time I just need to cook it differently I need to put it in a different type of broth when I cook it and yeah if you guys want to know how to make seitan I'll make it for you but yeah not right now <laughs> sorry but yeah so I had that for lunch and then for dinner I was online again watching videos all day of people eating and I've seen Buddha bowls and now I'm like obsessed with Buddha bowls. So I made a Buddha bowl last night with jasmine rice. I used broccoli, kale, um, tomatoes, uh, broccoli, kale, tomatoes, yellow rice. What was in my Buddha? Oh, and lentils. Silly. Because it's like five things to make a Buddha bowl. You need a starch. You can put as many vegetables as you want. You're supposed to put a fruit. Not supposed to, but most people put a fruit. Um, a protein, which was my lentils. And then you need a sauce. And the sauce that I made was a Thai peanut sauce. I just mixed peanut butter and sriracha, honestly. And I could have like heated up and made it more saucy, but I figured... Who cares? So I just mixed peanut butter and sriracha until it was to my liking and I put it in the bowl and it was so good that I ended up eating like normally when I cook dinner it's enough to eat three times because like I normally eat dinner I normally eat again late at night I know it's bad but like I always eat again late at night and then I try to have the leftovers for lunch the next day but it didn't even last I ate everything last night I had no leftovers today it was so good oh my goodness but yeah that's what I've been eating so if you're a vegetarian or, or a vegan and you'd like to try some new foods I say give the Buddha bowl a try definitely I also say give seitan a try and of course yes give breakfast cookies a try because who doesn't want cookies for breakfast okay okay so um yeah that's all I ate um 
I hope you guys enjoyed my little food journey. I'll definitely be doing more because I've been cooking up a storm lately and I've been trying so many new recipes. Like, I got you guys. I got you my fellow vegetarian and vegan friends. So yes, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video and um, don't know how to end this thing. So.